Hey guys, what's up? Car Taco here, and today I'm here with a playmat video because it's one of the frequently asked questions um, on my comment sections. A lot of times people are asking, "Oh, where do I get my playmat? Uh, where do you get your playmat? Where do you buy your playmat? Um, who designed your playmat? Other stuff like that." And I just want to clarify that um, I actually design my own playmats. Well, the, at least for the main one you see, like like this one here. I designed it myself, I made it myself, and there's only one in the world, at least I think so, unless someone copied me, then, um, then I guess there is <laughs> one in the world. So as you guys can probably see, there's Karotaku here, which is obviously my screen name, and it's, yeah, it's customized uh, for me, for myself, because I did it myself, and Basically, if you guys want to make a playmat like this, then it's best that you make it yourself. Um, for those of you who ask me if I will make a tutorial on, on how to do it, uh, I won't because all you need to do is, if you're not going to use Photoshop, then it's pretty much uh, it's pretty easy to do. If you don't want to use Photoshop, then uh, you can ask someone who knows how to do Photoshop to help you do this. Um, yeah, but I'll, I'll show you a few of my playmats. That I've done myself, and then you know I'll, I'll go through my collection because I do have quite a few playmats. Uh, let's go with the ones that I made myself first. I think I have three. Um, yeah. So this is a, another playmat that I made. Um, it's actually I think my first, the first one I made. Uh, you guys probably saw it in some of my videos, but yeah. So this is my playmat. I like the design, but there isn't enough characters on this. So I was like, yeah, I'll make a new one. And as you guys can see here, it also says Karotaku. So you know, you know, uh, it's it's mine. <laughs> yeah, I believe there's only one of this in the world. I don't think I sold this design yet. Uh, I have this one, which I believe I sold. This is designed to one other person, one or two people. So you might see some other people with this design. Um, this was the prototype for the one that I'm using now. The prototype for this one. Because, yeah, I overestimated, I underestimated how big the uh, these, these shapes would be. So I, yeah, made that one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. So those are my custom play mats, and then these are the ones that I bought at shops. Um, this one is printed in China, so it's kind of shitty, but it's really thick. It's much thicker than the official Bushi Road ones, so it's very durable, I guess. Uh, the color is a little off. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but it's not, it's not super vibrant, so yeah. This one is also from the same place. These are like 50 Hong Kong dollars. So it was really, really cheap. So I just bought bought them for the lulls. Um, there's this one from White Letters. Uh, you can probably see it better in this thing. The white is not actually white. So um, yeah. But this this is a, it's pretty nice, I guess. Then we have my Yu-Gi-Oh play mats. Um, these are the play mats I used before I used the waifu mats. Uh, we have the three phantoms. I think they're they're called the fan phantoms. Not sure. I don't remember. I don't remember. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in too long. Then we have the C number forty-nine uh, for Order of the Chaos. This is a sleek PV play mat. So yeah, that was back when I still played Yu-Gi-Oh. And then we got this one, this really beat up playmat. Um, it's for the national championships, 2009, um, in Korea. <laughs> my friend helped me. My friend, my friend played in that one, and he won, I think, or he did something. And then he just gave me this playmat because uh, he was like, "Oh, I heard you won a playmat." I was like, "Yeah," and he's like, "Yeah, take it." So there's that. And then we go on to the more my more recent playmats. These are my waifu mats I guess you can say um, yeah these ones are the most most of the time they're from Bushiroad because uh, they're they're releasing a lot of play mats 
and a lot of them are they have pretty nice designs so I just buy them for collection because they're not they're not too expensive um, definitely a custom mat will probably cost more if you include the shipping so yeah and also these ones are a bit smaller than the other ones so yeah so we have um, the Kuro, Kuro Yukihime playmat uh, the one with Black Lotus uh, this was a official one that you could you could have got uh, if you pre-ordered it online. This is the Little Buster one that came in the event. It's a Comic Kit uh, special, I believe. So you have to get it in Comic Kit, or you have to buy it off someone who went to Comic Kit. Uh, we have this Infinite Shadows play mat. You guys probably saw this before. Uh, this is from the supply set, so you can't buy it by itself officially. So, yep, yeah, it's a really nice playmat. I really like it. We have a ZX playmat. Um, I got this on discount. It's only like half the playing field because if you played ZX, then you know there's like nine squares here, but there's only like <laughs> three and then like three half squares. So, yeah. Then we have my Hatsune Miku playmat that I got in a supply set. Um, yeah, it's from a supply set, so it's it's pretty nice, I guess. I rarely use this though, cause yeah, just cause. Then we have the Onsen Infinite Shadows playmat. Uh, this one is you can buy it by itself. Um, it's obviously very lewd so I wouldn't bring this outside if you're playing with kids um, yeah <laughs> it, this is definitely not safe for work so compared to a lot of other stuff then we have the other infinite shadows play mat this is from uh, the first supply set the very first supply set so I think it's pretty rare now Actually, both of the supply set ones are pretty rare now. Um, yeah. So you can't buy this by itself again. Next, we have the Nisei Koi playmat, which uh, you can buy by itself. This was not. This is not an event special, so you could have pre-ordered this online. I'm sure, many of you have saw this on Amiami if you go on that site. Next, we have the Kuro, another Kuro Kihime playmat. Uh, this one is a this one is a standalone, but you can only get it in Comic Kit. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot of playmats that you can only get in Comic Kit. This one is from the Sword Art Online um, supply set. It originally came with uh, it originally came in this tube. Uh, this Knights of the Blood tube, or Knight of Blood tube, but um, I'm currently using it for another playmat. Oops. So, yeah, I'll show you guys that a bit later, though. Actually, yeah, I'll show you that now. Uh, I'm using it for this also no playmat. This was a Comic Kit special, um, standalone. So, I think this is like, the, the first batch of playmats they made. So yeah, and yeah, and I got this today, I'm still trying to flatten it. It's a Hatsune Miku playmat, but it's a Precious Memory playmat, so it's officially, it's official from Precious Memory. This one is a bit, is a bit longer than the other ones, and it's a bit narrower, so if you compare, compare it, see, as you can see, um, that's the, how much uh shorter it is but it's a lot wider it's like that much wider so yeah um that's those that's those playmats um then i have a bunch of playmats that i have in tubes whoops like all all these playmats are the ones that came in either supply sets or i tube them myself These are all tube, 
two to play mats. I think I still have a bit more. Give me a sec. As you can see, I really like to collect play mats. So, yeah, I, these are all the ones I have. I only got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight of the, actually no, nine of the tube ones, including the Sora Online one I just showed you. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys these playmats too. This is going to take a while. So yeah, usually the tube ones come in the comic kit supplies. But some of them don't have tubes, like the Hatsune Miku one and the uh, uh, I, Infinite Shadows ones. And you can also get a standalone playmat tubes by themselves. Uh, these ones are a bit shorter than the other ones, but uh, I use them for official Vanguard playmats because they are a bit shorter. First, let's show you. Uh, give me a sec. Like this one here. This is the Duo Temptation playmat. Um, yeah, it, it again. This one is a bit longer than the, all the other ones. I don't know why they did this, but yeah, I like. The, I really like this playmat. It's one of my favorite playmats. Vanguard, which is why I bought it. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. So if you guys are looking for playmats. Um, I should really look online for the official Bushiro ones because they have some pretty quality stuff. This one is the official Minerva one. So, yeah, it's from the English uh, sneak preview. I, uh, Chan helped me get this one, so thank, thank you, Chan. Ooh, what else is there? Alright, more comic supplies ones. Got. A Shimakaze playmat. I don't actually really like this playmat, but I only got it because it came with the uh, card sleeves. So I got the whole set. And the tube is very nice. I like the tube. But this playmat is... it's okay, I guess. I don't think I used it before. So, yeah, there, that's the Shimakaze one. Next we have... Another contact collection one. This one is uh, a Congo. I should not even know I had this playmat. So this is the Congo playmat that I didn't know I had. Um, it's weird. When did I get this one? Oh wait, I know. I remember now. I remember now. I got it when I I got two playmats for like, like twenty bucks, and this is one of them. Um, this is the Congo Kai Two, Kai Ni. Uh, that's probably why it was so cheap because nobody really likes uh, Congo in her Kai form or Kai 2 form. Ah, interesting. Alright, next we have another Kantai collection playmat. Uh, this one is with the lollies. I got this one along with the Congo one, and the only reason I bought them was because they're really cheap. Mainly I wanted the Congo, but um, yeah, this one is nice too. Yeah, not much else you can say about it. It's, it was cheap. And then I think this is the last one I have from Bushi Road. Oops. Oh, it's a railgun playmat. Um, yeah, as you can see, I have. Two playmat, uh, railgun playmats. One is official from Bushy Road, and the other one is not. So this one, yep. official Bushy Road playmat. Uh, this one's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's pretty much that. I actually like the other picture more, but this one is also pretty nice. I believe they have, they made it official uh, playmat for that picture, the picture I showed you first. And next, let's move on to the unofficial playmats. These are the ones that I got in 
uh, Dojin Sheaf uh, events. Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, this is a Congo playmat. This is the very lewd Congo playmat. Um, yeah, not much else to say about it. This is uh, it was like twenty bucks, I think, U.S. But I got it in Hong Kong, so yeah. Um, it's drawn by I forgot who Jun Jun and Yuri. I think yeah, I think that's what they're called, Jun and Yuri. Uh, is it? No, I actually I don't know. I'm not sure where, I, where the, who it's drawn by, but um, it's it's. <laughs> You can only get it at the booths in uh, Rainbow Gala or Comic World. And last but not least, I have a another play mat I got today because I went to a comic another comic uh, went to Comic World today, and it came with and I got the uh, Yamato play mat. Um, you guys probably saw this on Void Canvas if you guys follow me there. This one is really nice. Yamato looks a bit too lolly in this one, I guess, but it's fine. It's a nice color. I really like the um, background. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. I just wanted to show you guys my playmats. None of them are for sale, um, and please don't ask me where I get my playmats anymore. Because you guys pretty much know where I got all of them. Um, if it's a, uh, that's pretty this one. If someone, if you see someone comment down on the video below saying where I got my playmat, just tell them it's custom made, and you probably can't get it anywhere. So yeah, because I've been getting way too many questions about this. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, I guess. Um, this is Card Haku, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.